Crude oil prices hitting their uh, highest level since late October on a combination uh, of tensions in the Middle East, Russia, Ukraine, and a larger than expected fall in U.S. inventories. Join us now to talk about where energy prices uh, could be going, and um, he has a pretty good uh, view of the entire landscape. Uh, Don Stroyven, Goldman Sachs head of oil research, and we'll take a three shot. And, and we ask, do see some people when they're sitting up too high, we say we need to, you know, we all need to be. With you, I had to ask, do we want you to look like us, or do we want you to look like what you really are? Wait, and go ahead, back up, stand up. Yeah, let's stand. We'll, we'll stand yeah. up. Go ahead. Don is six eight, and if we uh, if we do need uh, a team, if hi, uh, uh, you're amazing. Uh, you are, and you're, yeah. you're really I, good at what you do. But but it has to. I mean, I only became a commodity strategist because basketball and tennis didn't work out. <laughs> Either one. Uh, <laughs> tall guys seem to be great yeah. at, at tennis yeah. too, but. I guess you'd just be basic. You wouldn't be a center in today's world. You'd probably be a, a, a power forward or something like that. Now let's talk. Uh, I mean, we're, we're talking oil, obviously, and you can definitely begin with that. But the commodities complex has been strong. Is it? Is there one overriding theme that is making that happen? The markets are converging to a view that the global economy and commodities demand are, are firmer than than what people widely believed at the end of last year. So it's just, it's not 34, it's not money printing, it's not, I mean, gold, when's the last time you saw gold? Uh, it's been quiescent for a while, made a saucer bottom, broke out three, four months ago to new highs, but it, you know, it seems like it's moving, or, or at least pulling other commodities up as well. Yeah, I think it's pretty impressive that gold continues to hit new uh, all-time highs, despite the fact that usually, when the market prices uh, higher growth expectations, uh, and reduces Fed cut expectations, that typically hurts, hurts gold. So I think gold is benefiting from sort of separate structural demand tailwinds from EM central banks. Uh, yesterday we got data for February. This is the nine consecutive months where EM central bank hold, gold holdings continue to rise. Consumers in China who are worried about the property market are looking for alternative places to put their, put their money. And finally, I think investors also like gold as a geopolitical hedge with uncertainty in the Middle East, Ukraine, US elections. And I think that, that third driver is also helping oil uh, to some extent in our recommendations to go along commodities because we think that both gold and energy provide a, a solid geopolitical hedge, hedging value. The move to 85 on oil, which people thought might have happened a lot sooner. Why did it happen this time? Why did it happen now? And, and what, what is an upside objective? Is 100 yeah. coming? Yes. Yeah, so we need three factors that drive, drive the rally. Number one, demand is coming in stronger than what the market was expecting, especially in the US, Europe, uh, and India. And I think the re recent PMI beats have sort of provided the latest lag to that rally. Second, in sharp contrast with last year, supply in both the US and Russia is coming in a touch lower than uh, what consensus was looking for. And last but not least, we're seeing a pretty big increase in positioning and valuation measures. Year to date, Money managers have bought 400 million barrels of, of oil futures, a lot of oil uh, paper barrels that have been bought. Why? I think in part because the market is turning uh, more optimistic on demand and because the market is recognizing that OPEC cuts, they do work. And we got the news uh, you know, just an hour ago that OPEC cuts will be extended to the second quarter. But higher oil prices combined with higher manufacturing results makes you, again, get back to this idea of should the Fed be cutting here? Yeah, so what happens if they do? The Goldman research view has always been that growth is going to be strong, and to some extent, Fed cuts are optional because the growth outlook is solid. That said, if core inflation does come down in the U.S. in PCE terms to sort of the mid to low twos, I think that the Fed and especially Sherrod Powell will believe that well, why interest rates are still, still high relative to Why can't you levels. tell me what core inflation is going to do, given that you know what oil is doing and what commodities are doing? Do you expect core PCE to come down? Why, it seems like you're making the case that it shouldn't come down or it should so at least be tough. Our base case for, for Brent is that you stay in the, in the high 80s. And that wouldn't cause PCE. That's not enough to make PCE no, and, and core PC, which the Fed mostly is focused on, you know, doesn't directly doesn't take, and, yeah, but it, fil it, it passes through, through like yeah. airfares, for instance. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Just um, don't so eat or go The good anywhere. news is our, the economists and the commodity uh, forecasts are, are consistent. We use each other's numbers. We use their strong GDP numbers. 
These are viewed as energy prices will, will uh, consolidate at, at currently uh, relatively high levels.